Hello, I'm Kimberly Davis. Today is February 10th, and I hope that your Monday is off to a great start. It's the day after the Oscars so hostless, and first let me apologize to my family for waking up the entire house when Hair Love won the Academy Award for Best Animated Short. Parasite made history with its upset Best Picture win. There were other history-making moments, and you can find the full recap on abccolumbia.com. The Connors goes live on both coasts tomorrow on ABC. Welcome back. The head of CBS News is calling threats against Gail King reprehensible. The comments come after King asked WNBA legend Lisa Leslie about a 2003 rape allegation against the late Kobe Bryant. Rapper Snoop Dogg as well as LeBron James, 50 Cent and even Bill Cosby from his jail cell criticized King for the question. Snoop Dogg took to social media again on Saturday saying that he meant King no harm. Tonight, no one saw her coming. She's a psychopath. If you're weak, you're not going to last. <laughs> and Peter I'm falling in love with her. never saw this coming. <gasps> this is so difficult. All new Bachelor, tonight on ABC. Reverend Clementa Pinckney was a South Carolina state senator and pastor of Mother Emanuel Amy Church in Charleston. Among several degrees, he received his undergraduate degree from Allen University here in Columbia. He was a girl dad and was 41 at the time of his death. George Stephanopoulos, Yara Shahidi, and Laura Dern are all celebrating their birthdays today, and happy birthday if you are celebrating. Congratulations to the Golden Bulls of my HBCU on both wins over the CU Panthers on Saturday. It's a great way to wake up. 1917 and its 10 Oscar nominations took third place after three weekends on top. Bad Boys for Life fell to second and it was Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn that topped the weekend's box office. I'm Kimberly Davis. I appreciate you watching. Thank you for your service. Choose kindness even if you're the only one doing it and have a great day.